football's most divisive characters continue to be Jose Mourinho. Whether he's a player, pundit, or supporter, you usually have strong feelings for or against him. Even the people closest to the special one have likely hated him many times during their time together, but in the end, his favorite players of whom there have been a few, always stick with him. Mourinho has frequently depended on those who have gotten along with him during his managerial tenure. Today we're looking at the players who have turned out the most for the Portuguese coach across more than one club. Ricardo Carvalho it's going to take something special to dethrone Carvalho from the top spot. The Portuguese defender made 293 appearances under Mourinho across three clubs throughout his glistening career. Carvalho was one of the main reasons for Mourinho's success at Porto before he followed him to Chelsea, where he formed an incredible relationship with John Terry that resulted in 25 Premier League clean sheets in 2004-2005. Carvalho was by far his most trusted soldier. Carvalho remained with the Blues until 2010, at which point Real Madrid made a move at the special one's suggestion. Carvalho's first season was once again very successful. He was instrumental in fortifying the team's defense. However, as injuries mounted, Carvalho's impact started to diminish, and by the conclusion of the 2012-2013 season, he was let go at the end of his contract. However, that only scratches the surface of an incredibly strong working partnership. Michael Essien Making 147 appearances under Mourinho, Chelsea parted with £24.4 million to make a then 22-year-old Essien the most expensive African player of all time in 2005 after a saga that rumbled on throughout the summer. A year later, Essien was one of Mourinho's most trusted soldiers and being nominated for the 2006 Ballon d'Or. Injuries disrupted his later years at Stamford Bridge, and an influx of managers after Mourinho left saw several midfielders come and go. He eventually reunited with the man who signed him in 2012, when he secured a loan switch to Real Madrid. He dedicated his second and final real goal on the last day of the season to Mourinho. Lasana Diara After being signed as a young player in 2005, Mourinho gradually introduced Diara to Chelsea, where he won the Premier League twice in a row and was awarded the team's young player of the season in 2005-2006. Before departing in 2007 to pursue first-team football, he developed into a rotation arm. He played for Portsmouth and Arsenal before joining Real Madrid in 2009. By 2010, he had reconnected with Mourinho. The French international made 96 appearances overall for Mourinho across two teams. When Sami Khedira was signed, many expressed concerns for Diara's future in the city, but he proved his value once more and played brilliantly before leaving in 2012. Romelu Lukaku It's 83 appearances and counting for Lukaku, but along with that number comes 39 goals and, crucially, three clubs where he's played for the special one. The pair never quite aligned at Chelsea, but Mourinho spent an initial £75 million to bring Lukaku to United in 2017 where he scored 27 goals in all competitions in his first season. Lukaku's career since then has had a bit of everything, from success with Inter to a nightmare return to Chelsea. Mourinho offered him a lifeline this summer though, and he's repaying it big time. Zlatan Ibrahimovic before falling out with Pep Guardiola at Barcelona, Mourinho gave Zlatan the platform to shine at Inter, which paved the way for the move in the first place, showcasing the difference between the two managers and the caliber of player they like to work with. Inter was the beginning of a brilliant relationship between two fierce characters. Ibrahimovic turned out 100 times in total for Mourinho at Inter and later Manchester United when he signed for free in 2016, scoring 58 goals under the special one and winning a Scudetto, a Europa League and the EFL Cup all in all. 
Henrik Mkhitaryan Mkhitaryan got off to a rocky start under Mourinho at United, getting hooked at half-time in his first Premier League start, the Manchester derby. But things would pick up, enjoying a prolific second half to his first season at the club and impressing particularly in the Europa League, where he scored in the final against Ajax. Things fizzled out the season after and he was the makeweight in that infamous Alexis Sanchez swap deal, but Mkhitaryan did link up with Mourinho again at Roma and started the Europa Conference League final before leaving for Inter. 107 appearances under Mourinho is impressive. Nemanja Matic Matic's return to Chelsea in 2014 came under the tutelage of Mourinho, also in his second spell with the club. Together, the pair won the Premier League in 2014-15 and Matic blossomed into one of the best defensive midfielders in Europe, of course. He remained at Stamford Bridge following Mourinho's second departure, but not for long as the manager signed him for United in 2017. He immediately became vital for the Red Devils and stuck around until 2022, before signing for, you guessed it, Mourinho's Roma on a free transfer. Juan Mata It's strange to see Mata in a list such as this, considering it was Mourinho who sanctioned his 2014 sale to Manchester United, just months after being crowned Chelsea's Player of the Year for a second time. But when the two reunited in Manchester in 2016, Mourinho would ultimately call upon the Spaniard often. United fans still feel like he was wasted on the right flank for much of his time at the club, but he could still always be relied upon for a hard-working performance, even if he didn't feel like a traditional Mourinho player physically. 117 appearances under him certainly suggest the Portuguese coach did grow to like him. Chris Smalling Smalling seemed to spend years fading in and out of form before Jose Mourinho's 2016 arrival, where he capitalized on a solid spell under Luis van Gaal and turned into one of United's most reliable players for a period of three years or so. That start blossomed in Rome, where the two reunited upon Mourinho's arrival in 2021 and won the Europa Conference League together. 188 appearances and counting, and four honors together so far. Monstrous. Manish. Manish and Mourinho worked together three times, but not quite in the order you'd expect. The pair first worked with one another at Benfica, although this was in the infancy of Manish's career. He was then sold to Porto to reunite with the boss in 2002. Strangely, after finding success with Mourinho at Porto, Maniche's next move was to Dynamo Moscow in 2005. But when that didn't work out, he was loaned to Chelsea in January 2006 and quickly helped another Mourinho side to another trophy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, please stay tuned.